Uh, after breeding the parent monsters, we'll go back to the wild. But the skills of the parents will be passed on to the kids. For example, when a dragon is chosen as the pedigree and bred with a healer, a dragon kid that can learn healer skills will be born. Raise the dragon kid and breed it with another monster, and so on. You can make many strong monsters this way. Oh, long time no see, remember me? I am the old man who took you to the castle when you first came to Great Tree. People call me Master Monster Tamer. This is the Shrine of Starry Night. It is the place for breeding monsters and hatching eggs. Breeding is the wedding of monsters. When they are wed, an egg is laid. Eggs hatch into monsters. What can I do for you today? Hatch. Hi, dragon. Alright, wait overnight. Really, almost every boss in Final Fantasy X can be beaten with summons. Just cap their overdrive gauge before uh, you get to the boss and fire them off one by one, completely ignoring levels and individual boss strats. I was never... never so strategic. Alright, I need a name for Sky Dragon. Any takers. You have four... four letters. <laughs> Not much to work with. You could always go with uh, Sky. Or character limit makes things difficult? Nonsense! There's Axel. There's uh, uh, Rios. There's Dante. <laughs> there's, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, We can call him Sky D. We'll go with Sky D. Take Sky D with you now. Want some info. 23 attack. to agility, which means that you're, you're just going to bust them up. And you're to the farm for right now. Okay. Option. Save. Alright, do you tell me what I breed before I breed something? What about if I did you not old enough? Oh no. Okay. Here you go, Kylor. Dragon Warrior Monsters. Do you think I can beat the game? <laughs> With just the monsters that I randomly pick up from, and I guess, like, these bosses and things like that. That'll be a thing. Because I need to grind out uh, monsters to to be able to breed them. And if I can't I can't breed them without grinding them out, and that, that puts me at a little bit of a pickle here. Alright, it's the Room of Memories and Bewilder. Right for Bewilder, left for Memories. Let's save. We're gonna... 
Oh, we're not gonna mark. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You don't know the mechanics of this game? Why they not level up al along the way enough to breed? Or will they not level up along the way to breed? Uh, well, I would have to take them in my party and only get three monsters. So, in order to level them up, I'll have to go to either lower level zones or take one monster with me to complement, you know, my higher level monsters so that my team is not, you know, like absolutely destroyed and bodied and whatnot. I'm not at full... Full, uh... Oh, yes I am. Alright. We're already off to a fantastic start right now. How is experience split? I have no idea. We can find out. Maybe. Alright. Uh, bust out the notepad plus 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 plus. Alright. Golm has 424. Drag has 343. And just for science, Ale has 241. How many warp wings do I have? Just one. Oftentimes, games split experience between party members so you can become quite OP by only getting experience on one character. Let's find out. Forty experience was gained. Buttons. Uh, Golem got forty experience. Drag got forty experience. Ale got nothing. Revive him and fight the same fight. I don't think I have any items that that revives. Yeah, I don't know what the revive item is. Caterpillar. Million Dragon Quest is just a church. Well, there there are churches, but I would have to like I'm in a, a dungeon right now, and you can't leave dungeons uh, without using a warp wing. And I don't have that much money right now, so I don't want to I don't want to use it and then be without one. Kid. Oh, that wasn't what I was thinking of when they mentioned Dragon Kid.
Akafu. I think, I think I am going to look up all of the, the, the breeding stuff. Alright, I wanted to use the items first. Another example of that is Fire Emblem games, or Final Fantasy Tactics. Fire Emblem, if you force one character to get all the experience, they become stupid OP and can carry you through the game. I think that I, that, that to me again is like one of those advanced strategies that I think casual players don't, don't latch on to. Well, it looks like um, mana goes up slowly. That's cool. Straight caterpillar. Not something you looked up? Sure, but... But when... When you're playing a like a, a tactics game or any game, you know art. Th this is this is not going to work on you, but you know, are you going to say, "Oh, let me let me try to do this fight with none of my uh, my." Uh, my teammates. Let me just try to solo this fight, or something like that. Um, I, I feel like that's uh, one of those those risky strategies. Um, let me funnel everything into this one character, in the hopes that I don't get screwed over later and have to uh, figure out a way to get out of that. Um, in my opinion, it, it you would have to know beforehand that that's not going to screw you over. Must be the destiny to meet you here. I'll restore you if you can beat me. Oh no. Oh no. Do you have any skills? Charge up strong D. What do these do? I don't think that's what I want to do. I think you could just charge. We're gonna fire air. Okay, herb, us, drag. Fire air, please. Oh my gosh. Alright. We're charging. We can survive. I believe. It's a lot of experience to miss out on. Ah, the Ari Cell strat. <laughs> uh, yeah. As I promised, restore power. All right. Thank you very much. I needed that.
think I have room for herbs, but... I'm gonna ignore that. You understand math? It's pretty much the same in every game. I don't believe you, but... I also don't want to believe you. But at the same time... You know more than I do. Uh... When it comes to... Things of that nature, so... I defer... To your knowledge. Uh, for your specific case, but... I feel like... I still feel like casual players. Wouldn't go for that approach, but... If you did it, and you consider yourself a casual player... You have increased the sample size against me. Okay, that save was actually pretty, pretty good. Guffaw, guffaw. And cap. Actually, not what I wanted to do. Mad Cat is strong. Okay, charge, charge, cautious. Almost every time a first play, you just pay attention to how the numbers are working and exploit it. And you've never been burned by that strategy before? Sweep the leg? That's against the rules. Yes. Gig. I think I'm gonna go with... Cat. G. Uh, I wanna... I don't know what you're all about. 62 attack, 63 agility. That's... That's crazy. You might be better than you. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like I need to get Golem and Dragon up to the appropriate level, though. We're gonna send Cat G back. For now. Terry, Terry. Seems Mad Cat is attached to Terry. Let's go back. I don't think I'm getting experience from these bosses. Oh, Terry, you beat Mad Cat. They say Mad Cat has the agility of the wind. Your agility must be like a tornado. Oh, King. It reminds me. Have you been going to the Shrine of Starry Night to breed your monsters? Master breeding, and you will master battle. Better breeding makes stronger monsters. You are dismissed. Busy, busy, busy. No, not really. In one fire emblem, you did run into a level cap on the character you were funneling experience into, so you just started working on a different character and used the first character to kill the enemies the weaker one couldn't handle. Okay, well... I'll give you that, then. You got me. Okay... 
we definitely need to get rid of this heal slime. All you're good for is healing me right now, and that's not working. Um, I think I might be able to do the next... Next one of these. Have enough time. Okay, so we'll save. I don't know if I want to mark. I feel like it's not really that important to split off these whatchamacallits, but you know, we'll see. We'll mark it anyway. I don't know which one, which one this is called, though. I don't think it tells you. Well, not that it matters, you know, all the uh, tile sets are probably going to be very similar. No experience from bosses is how you can stay level 1 in Final Fantasy IX. Level 1 strategy just sounds crazy. Ooh, big roost. Let's attack... Well, actually, I wouldn't mind having either one of these. Throw some beef jerky out there. I want to say, like, if I were to just choose a number, level 10 is what I need to get monsters up to. Right, let's force a fight and use, like, two beef jerkies. Let's use a rib. Plus 10 agility. Hey, we got the big roost. No, I was going to go with chicken, but, you know, it won't look, look the way I want it to. So we're just going to go for ruse. Chick? All right, I'll go chick. We'll go chick. The chat demands it. Filet. <laughs> Ah, uh, back to the farm with you. Alright, well, I need uh, one more fight because I don't think I can pick this up. Yeah, and I don't know what a Sky Bell does, so... Maybe it, uh... Gets back... Um... Like, gets you out of sleep or something, but... Because I don't know what any of these... Okay. Just make things difficult for me. Uh, when you do it in Final Fantasy XII, you can get Vaughn to level 40 plus in under an hour while he is solo at the very start of the game, and then the other characters match his level when they join. I I think I remember seeing um, like a speed run of um, Final Fantasy XII, and I don't necessarily know if they were doing something like that, but. Um, I remember seeing some sort of strategy that involved shenanigans of that sort. Alright, so we we want Big Roost to be Big Dead.
Oh no. Oh, okay. Uh, let's throw some, uh... Let's defend, defend, defend. Jerky. We'll give it two beef jerkies. Why are you attacking? I thought you would defend. Alright. Not gonna be that easy. Uh, what does a sky bell do? Cures confusion. Level 1 Final Fantasy IX, you just use Instant Death or Petrify to avoid experience from forced encounters. Do you... Oh, I'm guessing you're running away for the majority of the game. The fact that that stuff works on bosses is pretty crazy, actually. Assuming it works on bosses. And Hale is dead, because life is hard. <sighs> Alright, from now on... From now on... Maybe. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say we're just gonna go straight for the, the watchmocalls, but it really doesn't make a difference. You know, that was that was on me. I saw that Hale's HP wasn't that high, but I thought it wouldn't have been. It wouldn't have mattered that much. I was very wrong. A map herb. What is that? Pork chop. I feel like a pork chop is would be pretty good. Oh. Let's uh give you a rib. Pork chops are pretty good. for the demonite. We can go, uh, Dem. Or Demo. Go Demo. We, oh, we could have gone Debo. Maybe, maybe for another, uh, dude. What, uh, what are you all about? Blaze more. That one sounds really good. Get the step. Another pork chop. Now the question is, do I use my pork chop to get the next Enemy here. What? Why don't we just use an herb? Uh, works on some bosses. Some fights are just like normal enemies on screen. Uh huh. Also, you can't do normal escape from fights once your level is way below theirs, if you recall correctly. So you have to start using the flee command instead. That's annoying. It, it really bothers me when game games just don't let you run when you want to run. It really bugs me. Right. We don't care about beef jerky right now.
Ooh. I have some pork chop. And have some beef jerky. We should go to work. <laughs> I got work in a little bit. Uh, work actually picked up earlier and it was kind of crazy or yesterday and it was kind of crazy and i was like oh man today's the big day for work though so um i expect it to be a, a busy day i got so many videos to upload too from from yesterday yes i do we will call you You're a big supporter of the 100% runaway chance from random battles. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad you're on board with that, Ryoshin, because... I, I personally don't see any reason why you shouldn't just be able to run away. You know, like, you're weakening yourself most of the time, or you're preventing yourself from engaging in just obnoxiousness. If I don't want to fight this fight because it's 20 levels lower than me, then let me not fight it. Seems like a no-brainer to me. You should play Suikoden if you like easy escapes from fights. You can bribe every enemy in the game for free. It works on bosses, even final boss, and counts as a win for bosses. It's a glitch. Uh, I have played Suikoden, actually. Um, I played 1 and 2, and I played about 2 hours of 3. You can find my playthroughs on YouTube. Shameless plug, I suppose. And Hale is missing out on so much experience. care about the slime, but I guess we'll see what happens. Alright, I wanted the hork. So this is working out. To another beef jerky. Weird slime? Yeah, I think it's a like a spotted slime. It's definitely oh, becomes blaze air. Yeah, and I got the hork. Why wouldn't you just be named Hork? I mean, that's, that's your name. Why did it have spots? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. Metal slimes are great in Dragon Quest games. So I definitely do want a metal slime in this game, but, uh, you know, just the, the whole shenanigans of metal slimes and then this whole shenanigans of trying to get lucky to actually get a metal slime would be a very difficult thing to do. 
All right, we have 21 mana. How much does this blaze air cost? Four. But it does big damage. A laurel. I'm not resting on it. Why did you never beat Final Fantasy X? <laughs> I mean, them's, them's the ropes for me. One of those uh, infinite life is hard moments. Do you have other games you didn't finish due to challenge of a boss? Yes. Um, Evolution Worlds was one of them. Um, but I... I played that one on stream and I beat it. Um, I believe there's one more at least. Um, let's see if I can track it down. Evolution Worlds and and where is it? There was oh, uh, Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah, the original Final Fantasy Seven. Hey, we got the spotted slime without doing any work. I mean, easy name here is Spot. No. I think we discussed Evolution Worlds before. It's the bad remake of first and second evolution games where they cut out all the content. Uh, I don't remember what I, I, I don't remember my, my thoughts on the game like in its entirety right now, but, um, I remember just off the top of my head, I feel like the game wasn't that bad, but the dungeons were obnoxious. Let's use herb. Also want to know what a laurel is. Uh, map herb lets you see the entire landscape. Breaks curse. Okay. I was really thinking it might have been a boss, but nope. Can't even go into buildings, and they move the NPCs you need to interact with out of out of into the street. There's a there's a couple of buildings you can go into, but I understand what you're talking about. And they got rid of your debt. Well, you know, I mean, some changes are good changes. goes in haste, but the longest way is the shortest way.
I should heal Golem. I didn't think you could make it this far. Unfortunately, this is a dead end. Oh no. I feel like fire attacks would be really good here. Seems pretty good. Let's use a Laurel. Let me tell you, the list of JRPGs you haven't played uh, that could see your JRPG card revoked is pretty extensive. I, I feel like uh, I encounter that on my end quite a bit as well, but I have also been slowly going through those games. So I, uh, I, I'm getting a little lucky, you know, I, I played Xenogears, I played Suikoden 1 and 2, um, I played Final Fantasy 7. Attacking yourself, I think? You're confused. Didn't realize we were confused. Did I play Star Ocean 2? I don't think so. That one doesn't ring a bell for me. I don't know what Cursed does. I feel like I should heal, but... This guy has a lot of HP. Tree. Yeah, sure. No, you don't deserve the name Face. You're gonna be Tree. I wanna see what your stats are. Okay, you have 99 HP. That's crazy. You beat me. Did a good job solving the forest maze. Sometimes taking the longest path is the shortest path. Ever you say. Oh, Terry, you defeated Face Tree. I heard Face Tree cast curses. Why don't you cast a curse on the king of Great Log? Oh, king. Reminds me, have you been going to the Shrine of the Starry Night to breed monsters? Yep, 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 yep. Better breeding makes stronger monsters. You are dismissed. You really go to work? Thanks for stopping by, Kyler. I'm also going to be calling it quits here. I assume this is a good stopping point for myself. Yes. So it appears. Um, so yeah, um, this is where I'm going to call it quits for right now. Uh, the plan is to look up all the monsters. And I'm not going to necessarily look at what the monsters, like if they're good or not. I just want to find the monsters that I think look cool. Um, 
and so I'll probably be going that down that route. And you know, maybe maybe uh, we'll choose you know one monster if it's not so cool that it's strong, but probably not. Um, and um, I think I'm going to maybe read up a little bit on the breeding system as well. Um, it it's a little unfortunate because it seems like the entire game is basically the breeding system, but. Um, you know, if, if I want cool monsters, then I need to figure out that. And I don't think I'm going to be getting any dragons or any golems anytime soon. Uh, so, uh, this will help cut out the grind a little bit. Um, and the good news is that when Krayson goes to play this, he's going to play it completely blind. And he's just going to randomly breed monsters together, assuming he does that. And uh, it's going to take him longer to beat the game, which means I'll beat the game before him, which means I'll get to watch him play the game. So there's that. News of the day is Sony acquiring Blue Point Games. They praise their recreation of Demon's Souls, and you know there's this JRPG from Sony from back in the day that could be in need of a remake. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen with Blue Point. I, I think Legend of Dragoon is... is... I'm not going to say that it's dead, because it's alive within me, but I think if, if Sony is going to do a Legend of Dragoon in some fashion, they're going to, they're, they're going to put out some sort of, um, like attendance um, kind of thing like let's just throw out this teaser real quick and and see how many people latch onto it and if it's if nobody latches onto it cool you know it's just like some random thing that we'll add into another game but if people do latch onto it you know maybe maybe we'll take it an extra step um, and, I don't know, may maybe they lost, you know, all the, the files for the game or something like that, you know, who knows, but... It's, it's long overdue, and it's one of those things where Gino is not even in Smash Bros. right now, and he's probably not going to be the last character, and because of that reason, Legend of Dragoon Remake slash Remaster is just never going to happen. You know, those two things correlate with each other. Uh, but anyways, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll be back tomorrow, 5.30 a.m. Pacific uh, for some more Dragon Warrior Monsters. Uh, I'll have some more knowledge at my disposal. So, peace.